How we doing Thrivers? Welcome back. As promised today, we're going to be taking a look at some of the red flags that may indicate that you're dealing with a controlling person. You are going to want to stick around till the end of this video because there's something in this frame that represents the last red flag that we'll be discussing. Can you spot it? Did you spot it? Wait till the end to see if you have and if you were right. We'll talk about that red flag as well. We're going to stay outside the matrix. As an analogy, just like Legolas in Lord of the Rings carried a quiver full of arrows on his back, you're going to want to keep a metaphorical quiver full of red flags on your back. When you see one of those red flags demonstrated in a person, could be a friend, a romantic partner, a family member, don't be afraid to validate your experience and pull that invisible metaphorical red flag out and wave it around. Before we get started, let's dispense with the formalities as per usual. If you like this content, please hit the like button. This ensures YouTube pushes this content out to other potential viewers that could benefit from what we'll be discussing today. And when you trust me enough to give you consistent quality content that you value, please hit subscribe. I appreciate the support. Last thing to cover, as I am not a clinician, psychologist, therapist, or life coach, although I will be certified to be one in short order, we always theorize on this channel, we never diagnose, and of course, we never theranose. With that, let's get started. Red flag number one, good old cognitive dissonance. It's almost like watching a movie in Russian with no subtitles. What you're hearing is not lining up to what's happening. A practical example, let's say you receive a call from a friend and they keep telling you how much they miss you, how much they'd love to catch up with you. Are you available tonight? And you are. So you head over to the house, maybe a bottle of wine in hand, and they can't seem to put the phone down or stop swiping right. It's almost as if you're not there invisible or your presence was never needed to begin with so it does beg the question and i think you're within boundaries to, to ask a friend hey i thought we had some things to catch up on that doesn't seem to be the case what's changed example number two uh, how people treat others have you ever been with a family member in church uh, it doesn't matter father mother sibling aunt uncle whomever uh, or other formal social setting like that and on their way out after that mass has ended they're running into everybody they know in town and taking a moment to compliment them, whether it's their dress, whether it's the vacation pictures on their Instagram, or whether it's the fact that Johnny got into Stanford. But as soon as you're tucked away in the safety of that car on the way home, they have nothing but bad things to say about those people. Again, that begs the question. If they were complimenting someone and are now insulting them, it would lead you to believe that those compliments weren't genuine. What's the motive? What's to be gained by treating people with kindness only to cut them down on the car? Sure doesn't sound like kindness to me. Red flag number three, they don't do feelings. Have you ever spent weeks, months, years with someone and you feel like you don't know them any better now than you did before? Or you're just having a tough time gauging how they're feeling? Don't ask how they're doing, ask how they're feeling. As narcs and controlling people lack empathy and the ability to go within and self-reflect, they're gonna give pretty superficial responses. Even if there's something stressful in their life that you know they might be fearful about or upset about, sad about, you won't get that from them. Everything will be very surface. So again, you don't know them any better than you did six months ago, a year ago, and when you ask how they're feeling, all you get is platitudes and very superficial responses. That might be a red flag worth pulling out and waving. Next one, the backhanded compliment, AKA devaluation. Have you ever had anybody give you a compliment that didn't sound very much like a compliment? Let me give you an example. Hey Mary, you have a great singing voice. It surprised me because I personally thought you were gonna to be tone deaf. Ask yourself, was there any reason to say anything beyond you have a really nice singing voice? Why would someone need to build you up and cut you down at the same time? That doesn't seem to make much sense and it certainly doesn't sound like kindness to me. All right, have you noticed what in the frame may indicate our last red flag? I'll tell you. Today I am wearing my lion necklace. How does that translate? Lion. Controlling people and narcs are expert liars and you'll find them lying about things that really don't even require lies at all. Or you might get half-truths from them. So let me tell you part of a scenario so that if you find out the big picture, they can always point to that one little piece of the scenario they gave you and said, well, I told you X, Y, Z happened. If you're noticing a pattern of intermittent lies, even small little white lies that really don't make any sense when the truth would have worked just fine, that might be another indicator that you're dealing with a controlling person or an arc. Did you catch the line? 
I know I tried to get close to the screen a couple of times to see if you might pick up on it. If you did, let me know in the comments. So there you have it, folks. A few red flags that might indicate to you that you are dealing with a controlling person or an arc. Again, if you enjoyed this content, please make sure to hit like. When you trust me to give you content that you value, absolutely subscribe. And can you think of some other red flags that we might want to warn the community about? If so, put them in the comments. I'm interested to see what you have to say. Until next time, Thrivers, stay up.